Howdy folks, welcome back. So jumping straight into it, let's get started on the quest system. So I'm in my blueprints folder, and I'm where I'm storing most of my interaction system stuff, it seems. So I'm going to right click and create a new folder. You can save this wherever you want, this is just where I'm putting it. This is going to be my quest system folder. So I'm going to double click and open that up, and the first thing I want to create is two enumerations. One will be my quest list underscore e and this will be kind of like the items list so it'll de it'll have a list of every quest in the game then I'm going to create one more enumeration that is quest type underscore e now this will keep track of whether it's a kill quest collect quest find a location etc so the first one I'm going to open up is the quest type because it has fewer so we're going to have a kill collect find so I'm just name them as such kill collect oh and find save that close it down open up my quest list and I'm just gonna do quest ID numbers you can store these you can do this any way you like I'm just gonna use let's see I'm gonna add five of them Zero zero one, zero zero two, zero three. Uh, the reason I'm doing it this way is because I uh, feel like it'll help me keep track of what order the quests go in, so I'll know what numbers they need to have done in order to do certain numbers. That's, that's just my thought process on it. You can have other naming conventions for whatever helps you remember. Uh, but yeah, so after that, after those two are made, I'm going to create a blueprint of a structure. And this is going to be quest info underscore s. So I'm going to double click and open that up. Now the very first one is going to be the quest ID. And that will be that quest li oh, list enumerator. Next variable quest type and you guessed it quest type enumerator now there is quite a bit that we're gonna whoa what in the world okay don't do that okay so there, I'm gonna take a look at my notes real quick just to make sure I get them all 100% quest name description all that reward well this this will be reduced I figured out a better way for that part. Um, so, quest name, description, reward. Okay. <clears throat> All right. So, new variable. Ah, auto save. This will be the name of the quest. So, quest name, and it will be a text, not Ted. Then there will be the quest description. It tells you what you need to do. Description. Then there is. We're going to add both the collection and the kill count in here. So the first one is going to be collectibles or collection or whatever, whatever you want. Now this is going to be a new type of variable called a map, but not a text map. It's going to be base interactable class reference and then if you click this thing we can make it a map which I've just recently figured these things out but they're kind of like arrays except for they take in two values so they have what's called a key which is for in this instance it's going to be the, the collectible itself and then this one we can set to be an integer so it'll register the class of the item that we need and how many we need so they're really cool there's a lot of use for them. Uh, we're going to go more into these later on, but they are something pretty special. All right, so collectibles, then we got that. Let's see, and then we want, we're not going to use, well, I guess we could. So we're, we're going to use another one for our kill targets. And instead of base interactable class, it'll just be an actor Oh. Object type actor class reference. 
integer on that one also. So the first one, the collectibles, base interactable, so that it registers the items easier. And then kill targets as actor classes because we can get, we'll be able to cast the class over from the enemies that we kill later on. All right, now for the kill targets, we do need one more. Uh, not, it won't be a map. It'll just be an array. And this will be registering how many we've killed. So this will be kill count. And it'll just be an integer. So the way we're going to set it up is we'll set our kill targets in here with their values of how many needs to be killed. And then the array of the quest will also have to match. Well, I'll, sh I'll show you when we get to that point. Um, so we got the collectibles, kill targets, kill count. Let's take a look. Kill targets, killed. All right, reward, gold. Okay. All right, so now, once the quest is complete, we need to give our player their, their reward. So the new variable is going to be reward, and that is going to be an item names, or whatever your item list enumerator is, that's where this will go. That way you can have as many items as you want for them to get rewarded with. The new variable, this will be the gold reward, which will just be an integer, singular style, now a new variable, this is the XP reward, if you so choose to have one of those. It'll be a float if you do. Let's see, XP reward, item reward, gold, XP reward, and then the next variable is has prerequisite, question mark. Now this is going to be a boolean and this is going to determine does this quest need you to have already completed other quests in order to unlock it. So it'll have, does it have a prerequisite and then the next variable we need is the prerequisite needed. So prerequisite. Now that will be a quest list enumerator also just like the, the one at the top. All right, so quick little recap. We got the quest ID, which is the actual number of the quest. The quest type to tell us whether we're collecting, killing, or finding something. The quest name, the description. The collectibles are set up on a map with base interactable as the actor and integer as the value, or as the key in the value. Kill targets is an actor class with an integer also. The kill count is just an integer array. Reward is items. So on and so forth. You get it. You're, you're, you're there. You're good. All right. So let's see. Now with all that done, quest needed pre work was it? All right. All right. So we got the quest list, quest type. Now we can set up our data table. All right. Right. We're worried. Okay. So I'm gonna right click and go into miscellaneous, and this is gonna be our quest data table. So we need to pick our row structure to be that quest info struct. Quest underscore dt. Then we'll open that up, and this is where you'll add all your. So I'm gonna add five because that's how many I added in the thing. This is where you'll add all your quest rows. So let's see. I'm gonna add the first one. F2 to rename it is going down the list. It's just going to be the same as the enumerator. And now I'm going to go through and change the quest ID to match also. And then you can just establish all your quest information here. So I'm going to set up one just for now. So this first quest is going to be a collect quest. And I'm going to call it the same thing. Alchemical Romance. <laughs> and it's just going to be I need to make a health potion. Find me three green herbs, please. 
and then under the collectibles we can hit this add button and you'll see over here on the left we can pick from any of the items I haven't oh, I haven't added green herbs into this copy of it yet okay so I'm gonna do that real quick so I'm just creating a new item you can set this to be collect whatever item you already have if you already have them uh, but I'm gonna create a child blueprint of my base interactable this will be my green herb underscore BP double click and open that up just because the one thing I want to do to this real quick is I'm gonna change that bag into a bush cool alright so now back in the quest data table I can select that actor now so I've got green herb and I wanted to collect three alright we don't have any kill targets so we don't need a kill count the reward will be let's see a mana potion why not oh since I'm creating an item that's right I gotta go in and add it everywhere So if you're following along and doing exactly like this, then once you create the blueprint actor, you need to go to your item names enumerator and add it there. And then uh, in the data table, which this will be my green herb. Item class is green herb. Let's see. It was that one, I think. Yeah. Current stack set to one, max stack, whatever your max capacity is. The item type, it's a resource, so the price is going to be like I don't know, 50 bucks. Sell it for 20. And then once that's all done, we can go back to our quest data table. I just I, I opened this thing to set the reward, and I realized I forgot to add it everywhere, so that's why. And then the gold, you'll get 250 gold for it. XP reward, 35 for now. No prerequisite because it's the very first quest. Alright, I'm going to save real quick. And just to make sure that these are working appropriately, I'm going to pick them. Oh, that's right. i got to set its defaults down. So, item name, green herb. Compile that. And, alright, they're picking up in a second. Alright, so we got the quest baseline in. In the next one, we will start uh, putting that info. We'll set up a quest giver style, kind of like we did the, the shopkeepers and the magic teacher. Uh, and we'll start displaying all that info on the screen. So, I will see you all there. Bye.